My name is Peter Bregio, and I've been looking forward to this moment for a long time. To drive an old American car on the famous Malecon here in Havana, Cuba. Or at least I was. But we'll come back to this later. So what brought me to Cuba? First, let's take a trip back into time. The year is 1959. Fidel Castro overthrows the Batista government to gain control of the island. In 1962, the U.S. stopped trade with Cuba and banned all travel. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. For the last 10 years, I've traveled all over the world. One thing is certain. In order to truly have an adventure, you have to learn the language. Cuba has always fascinated me. As a traveler, timing is everything. And with recently restored U.S. relations, the clock is ticking to visit Cuba before it changes forever. I'm not looking for a vacation to sit on a beach and be served drinks with umbrellas in them. I want to take this rare moment to experience Cuba, its people, and its culture. It's time to learn Spanish. Hola. My journey begins in Los Angeles. In the beginning, I was very confident and excited to learn. Negro. I think. <gasps> we did it! We did it! Yeah. The hardest part really was just forcing myself to sit down and do it each day. Cuesta 29 dollars. Just completed level one, which means I got the basics down. Uh, Puedo orden uh, dos tacos de lengua, por favor? Gracias. I got through basic conversation all day, but as the lessons became more advanced, I hit a little bit of a wall. To get my motivation back, I used the Rosetta Stone Tutor. This was really cool because it gave me an actual person to talk to, and suddenly learning the language was very real. This definitely gave me a second win. After four months of studying Spanish, I think I'm ready. As excited as I am to travel to Cuba, it's never easy to say goodbye. Because there are no direct flights to Cuba, we decided to go through Little Havana, a neighborhood of Miami. Little Havana is predominantly Cuban, so hopefully we could get some advice and insight for the trip. We are here in Little Havana. This street is like the main thoroughfare. It's called Calle Ocho. So I'm feeling like the trip is slowly becoming a reality because there's a little bit of a balance between the United States and Cuba. One notable hangout in Little Havana is Domino Park, which is quite literally a park where Cubans gather to play dominoes. And it's serious business. It's domino, see? Sí. In Espanol, it's domino también? Domino, okay. Como juega? Okay. Este se juega hasta doble nueve. Doble, doble nueve, double nine. With all the recent changes, people seem excited to talk politics. Let's have a change, man. Let's yeah. see something happen. Yeah. You know, maybe something come out better, you know, for the Cuban people. Yeah. They, they the one who's suffering, not the government. So I thought it was just going to be me checking out guys playing dominoes. It actually turned into an amazing experience talking to some really friendly people. If Cuba is anything like Domino Park, I'm in for a treat. Vamos a comer. One place we kept hearing about was Ball and Chain famous Cuban restaurant featuring live music and a history that dates back over 80 years. Maybe I was just hungry, but this place was incredible. After hanging out at Domino Park, I found this eclectic Cuban joint, and I ordered an assortment of Cuban-style tapas along with a mojito. Everything looks so delicious. I'm just gonna dig right in, and I'm gonna start with the Cuban-style egg roll. Dip that in some mustard. Oh my god. Moving out to the fish tacos. I just ate some really delicious food. Had an amazing day here in Little Havana. And now it's time to make my way to Key West and get closer to the real Havana. While it might feel like a distant world to the United States, Cuba is only 90 miles off the U.S. coast. And because we're able to get special permits, we'll be traveling to Cuba by boat. Key West, Florida. It's coming down a little bit. This is the boat that we're taking to Cuba. Really exciting stuff. Vamanos. 
Even with four months of preparation, I still have no idea what to expect. 